All right, here we are from your local distributor for Old Town, Hobie, and Feel Free. All right, what do we got here? This is a Solo Discovery 119 in Ember. And if you like crappie fishing, I've got just two words for you. Echo Bay or Stewart's Point. But it's a canoe kayak hybrid, seat sets right on the floor. It's 31 and a half inches wide. It's 11 feet, nine inches long. Really stable, really quick. It's got a little bit of rocker. It's pretty much flat, except for just a little, little bit of rocker on it. Really stable, really quick. Briefcase it down to the water, go catch some crappie. It's got rod holders. Got a, you can adjust the back on the seat somewhere. Oh, right here. With this thing, see? And it's got a little jam cleat right there. Adjustable foot braces, right here. And that's an all day comfort seat, okay? And handles on the front and rear, right here. And, and I mean, it weighs like I can't remember what it weighs. It doesn't weigh much. Like it's less than 60 pounds. And I've got I got a couple paddles for you know not a whole lot. They're and they're pretty good paddles. So there's one. Still got the feel free with the um, with the drive. It's motor ready. 11 and a half feet long. Uh, I can't remember how wide it is. Uh, it's a good fast boat it's got the, and it doesn't have the motor with it but the motor plugs right into the drive there's the drive I haven't even put the drive together there's the drive motor plugs in right into there if you want it or you can if you don't want the motor you can just use it to like throw your keys in there or whatever let the pedals go on it props up, props already on it right there so that's ready to go there's a Hobie Lynx Right there, still in bubble wrap. Comes with a paddle, kick up fins. Doesn't have the turbo fins, but it's got the kick up 180 drive. And it comes with a paddle. All Hobies come with a paddle. Old Towns do not. Here's the star of the show right here. This is the paddle for another one. This is the star of the show right here. Hobie Pro Angler 12 in Dune. Turbo fins, kick up 180 drive. Two tackle boxes in here. Got your front hatch liner right here. Here's your cup holder, your plug. Your, uh, this is for your Guardian. Just set up your Guardian transducer. Hatch liner is included. It's got the risers for the steering, left and right side. Uh, this is your rudder tensioner. It's got a skeg, tracking skeg, keeps keeps it nice and straight. This is your Guardian transducer, lifts it and drops it. And this is your rudder up and down, All right here. All right, vantage seat, high and low position, all day comfort. And that is extra, that doesn't go with it. That's extra, that's a Hobie H crate. And it, I just put it in there to show how, I mean, it's made for it. So, there you go. Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else? Oh, it's got these two rod stagers on each side. It's got one there. And where's the other one? Where's the other one? No, it's got two of them. Should have two of them. Oh, it's there. It's on the other side. It's right there. There's the other rod stager. And these ones come with a, with a, with this, it goes onto the paddle. That's all I use ever. I don't even take the other half of the paddle with me. I've got the PA 14. Okay, so I got to do some some kayak juggling here and we're gonna come back with a couple more here. So hold on. All right, Hobie Compass in camo. Just like an Outback, only different. If that makes sense. 180 drive with kickups, turbo fins. Nice seat, one position seat. 
and you can what I did to my wife's is I put the square hatch right here and I move this hatch up to here it's already it's ready for it all you gotta do is cut it out and that'll that'll uh, transfer ouch I'll do that later it'll that will transfer up to there okay two rod holders it's got the drop down rudder right here okay just like that steering on one side and I think this one also has maybe it doesn't I don't think it's got the Guardian no it doesn't have the Guardian but it's got the um, it's got a place for a transducer so and I've got all that stuff right over here for it somewhere in here in this highly organized mess uh, I've got the well that might be right here I'll find there it is there's your transducer stuff right there okay and your plug and your, your quick start kit so there you go that's that all right I got more hold on all right there's your I forgot to put that in there there's your Hobie paddle mounted in your paddle holder look at this it's Pro Angler 12 and a compass side by side with plenty of room sitting on a Malone Microsport brand new I have the title in hand you get the title you get the bill of sale you're the first owner of it I just I brought it up here yesterday and uh, it was put together the day before yesterday by Justin at uh, Southwest Kayaks pulls like a dream you really don't even know it's back there it's got the it's got the grab handle right here it's got the kickstand and look at this okay two kayaks look at this I push it like a shopping cart okay it's all it's all wired um, it's all good to go spare tire boom spare tire kickstand grab handle extra large or extra sized tires for highway speed and uh, just like I said just pulls like a dream all right I got more all right Old Town 106 PDL Sportsman 106 PDL I got the bulletproof drive handy dandy little pocket right here in the drive for your wallet your keys whatever phone it's watertight and it floats that drive floats uh, it's fully just seats fully adjustable forward and back it's got the two Track mounts up there, big honking router, spot for a power pole, two rod holders, one forward facing rod holder. And this steering, you can lock it down right here with this little dealio right here. You can lock it, lock, set where you're going, lock it down, it'll keep you going that way. Or you can replace this bolt back here. A lot of people replace this pin right here with a bolt with nylon washers on it that'll do basically the same thing but uh, when you get one of these take every screw out of it put Loctite on it especially these these right here so, some people these loosen up on mine every one of them has gotten tight they've tightened themselves up when I was on the water and that's just weird but the same thing happened to a friend of mine yesterday he was at he asked me and I said check that um, because mine always get tight. Some get loose, some get tight. His got tight as well. So set those where you want them, right here, so that your, you know, so that your rudders, you don't have a whole lot, but you got a little bit of slop in your rudder right there, and Loctite, blue Loctite, okay? And I always spray all this stuff with silicone, all the cables, all the rudder, the uppy downy thingy here, and the steering tiller. Spray it all with silicone, not white lithium, but silicone. Okay. It's already smoking hot. Oof. This is the 120 that's already sold. And it's the big brother of that one. 
this is uh when this was a top water this is the one that started it all right here this is what started the sportsman lineup right here when this was the top water but it had a hokey handle right here and then they made it so that it has handles here and they just made this a power pole mount but this is these handles underneath yeah they're awesome i had one of the first top water 120s that they made and it's an awesome boat solid boat stable boat fast enough not predator or big water 132 fast but it's fast enough it'll get you where you want to go and it'll get you there safe i got caught and chopped on lake mojave in one of those and i made it home i didn't i, I didn't know if i was going to make it home but i made it home i was on the other side of the lake and it does you know mojave did what it does all the time it kicked up and i just put my head down and kept steaming and i made it and i was i had to run the trough all the way across the lake because the wind was coming right out of the north and I had waves coming over the side, hitting me in the lap. I had waves coming over the front. It was a mess, but I made it because they know what they're doing. They have been making watercraft since 1898. So they've made the mistakes and they figured it out. But uh, lifetime hull, uh, five year drive warranty. Same, all the old towns have a lifetime hull warranty, even this guy over here, okay? So that's the inventory. Contact me for pricing. Compass camo. Pro Angler uh, in Dune. Pro Angler 12 in Dune. Uh, that's sold. This is for sale. Oh. You can't, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to buy a Hobie and not buy a cart. I have the heavy duty plug-in cart right here. I tried to get the uh, I think it's called the T-130, but I got my fingers left. I also have this Malone. I can't get a great picture of it. But I shot a video of it. Uh, I got a couple, look at this, an old town putting on it. Huh. Um, I shot a video of it in Justin's store in Havasu about a month ago. Well, it was pretty close to a month ago. It was August 1st. Uh, it's got balloon tires. It's really light and uh, it's Malone. So I'm pretty sure it's got a lifetime warranty on it. But I could be wrong about that. I will verify that. If you if you are interested, I will find out. But like I said, you can't go wrong with Old Town or Hobie. They've both been, you know, they both got it pretty much figured out. So there you go. Get a hold of me. If you wanna, if, if you got something in mind that you don't see here, let me know. I'll, I'll find it. It's one of my bizarre skills I have. I can find the unfindable. Uh, but like I said, that's a that's a Lynx right there. It's still wrapped up in bubble wrap. Feel free to lure 11.5, Solo 119, Discovery Sport, Hobie Compass, Hobie Pro Angler, 106 PDL. That's the inventory. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you on the water.